All right. I am here with Aubrey Ballinger and Sam Staskel. Hey, ladies. Hello. Hello. And um, the reason why we're here today is because Sam had actually went to um, an EXP class on what is it that you're really making in each transaction. And we thought that would be really good to bring to everybody. So she is going to drop some knowledge on us and find out what are we really making? Because it's true, because we all think like, oh, we make the commission. But that's not true. Right? Well, it breaks it down. It's a way to organize the information yeah. um, the sheet that he shared. Um, it was, I think his name is Terry Kelly. Okay. He's an icon agent. Um, right. I, I am so glad I attended his workshop because um, I don't have a good way of tracking my business. I'm, mm -hmm. I'll admit it. I'm horrible about tracking my numbers. Somebody asked me, what are your numbers? I'm like, I have no idea. Most you of know? us are like that. Yeah. I know where I can find them in the MLS and it'll tell me what my numbers are, but I don't know off the top of my head what my numbers are, you know? Right. So it was good to have a working document that updates all these sheets automatically to track that for me. Nice. Yeah. So is it okay if I share my desktop? Yeah, you're sharing. Can I share it? Uh-huh. Share screen. Well, how do I, okay. So I'm gonna share this. So- Teach us, Sam, teach us. <laughs> Teach, teach woman. <laughs> <laughs> So it, this, this first, um, and I can show this document, okay. it talks about like the different steps of the sheets in the document here. So I'm just using Google Sheets because I don't have Excel. Okay. Um, so if I, you can read through this, it just talks about like the, the price, the, the commission, uh, what side you represented and stuff like that, that you can add into your sheet. So if we go to, just a second goals. Okay. So, okay. So this is my info. Okay. <laughs> I'm just put that out there right oh, now. You need to move. <laughs> I know. That's why I said it takes me a lot longer to get where everybody else is at because the Dang. housing prices are lower. Even in Cincinnati, we're higher than that <laughs> average yeah. price. Yeah. So, and our average commission is two and a half percent. So what you got to do is right here is where you're going to set your goals. You want to find out what your average sale is. Um, I think ours was actually and like you said, like this can just be based when you pull, you can pull your numbers from your MLS yes. and then they'll usually in ours, it's like a CMA view, right? And it'll give us the average. Um, and then you can put your average commission that won't be on there. You'll See, have like, what? it figured that for me. It Did it? Oh, nice. Yeah. That's figured for me. The only thing okay. that's not figured is. Okay, so I put in the average price of my area. Actually, I think I guess I don't even think I looked that up. I think it's 200 and something. Okay. And then I put the lowest commission that I accept. So okay. two and a half percent. And then um, this average commission earned is actually actually based on what my monthly goals were. Okay. So what, what I did is I put in my income goal. Okay. And then it shot or filled in this number. Um, okay of how many sales I need to make this goal. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm broke. <laughs> I, do it's have okay. a, I have a question. Yeah. Or do you want me to wait till no. after you explain it all? No, go ahead. So on the income goal, is that net or? It's gross. 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 Okay. Okay. And, and the 18 is gross too. Huh? What's that? The 18 is gross also. That's what I was just calculating. Okay. So then... I, this isn't an exact, I just threw in a bunch of numbers. Okay. Um, so like I figured out how many closings I have to have a month or how many transactions I have to have a month in order to meet my 18 goal. Of course, I've had more, you know, I've had um, five already. So this isn't reflecting what yeah, I, this is my goal. A, it's just an my example. Yeah. yeah. It's just my goal. It's not what my actual is. So I put, you know, I made my goal just to fill out the 18. Of course, if I get more than 18, that's great. But like I, I upped it in the summer because obviously we sell a lot more in the summer than we do in the winter. Yeah, nobody wants and to went be back in down there to in the winter at all. To, um, so it all added up to 18 and it ended up being $75,000, right? Mm -hmm. So then if you go to the next sheet, this is where you put your actuals in. Okay. So like in January, you know, you put the status. Did I sell? Is it pending? Oh, I need to update this. Um, <laughs> so, um, and then you put the customer, the street address. I put the city because I work in multiple towns. 
Um, the agent was me. And then how I got the lead, the, you know, cause I've always wanted to track that, how I, mm-hmm. how, how these people come to me. Cause I do a lot on social media. So are they finding me on social media or where? So then it's the date the offer was written, the date of the closing, which side you had, the sale price. Let me scoot this over here. The sale price, what commission was. So this is your gross commission before anything comes out. Mm-hmm. And then you have your referral. If it was a referral, what the referral percentage was. And then that, that once you enter that, it does the dollar amount automatically for you. And then it also does the cap and your net for you. Um, so I don't know, if, uh, Aubrey, if you have a cap where you're at or not. Uh, no. Another so reason. depending on where you're at, you just have to update the formulas and then it would. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you could totally remove this cap field if you don't have a cap for your okay. business. So it's just nice to know like where all the money went and then at down. Let's see here. You wouldn't remove the cap part. You would put like um brokerage split or whatever and like whatever their percentage is oh, yeah, yeah i could do that yeah you could yep okay so Which then it will sure net out it's everything going out so then it will net out what you actually made right or, i'm sure you can just change the formula for what percentage needs to come out right um, okay. so then all of this feeds into this sheet so to date this is what I paid towards my cap. And this is what I have left to pay. And then, so this is the gross income. The expenses is um, what I paid out. Now this doesn't include, it does if I go down below and I haven't filled these out yet um, of, you know, you have your insurance advertising, like internet stuff that you can put in here. And that's how it got up with the 231. Mm-hmm. That's just a, I threw that in there. Rev share. I don't have any rev share, but if you had rev share, um, Jennifer, you could put it in here um, of what you have, and that'll calculate it all in as well. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty straightforward, and it's it's simple, but it's definitely like I love that uh, this. If you hit your target, like my my goal was forty two hundred for um, commission in January. So mm-hmm. if I hit it, I get a golden. If I haven't hit it yet, I get a focus. <laughs> That's so funny. That's like an automatic thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you go awesome. back. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No. <laughs> hmm. I was uh, just saying that's awesome because it tells you like, get your butt in gear. <laughs> right. It, it tells you what you have left. Like it says your goal. It says where you're at. Yeah. yeah. Which I find helpful because I, I, I'm horrible at tracking numbers. You know, I wish it was something I was better at, but. I, this helps, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm so glad I went and that he shared this with me because it's so simple to use and he's got all the formulas set up. So I mean, it's something I'm definitely going to keep using and I might even add some stuff to it. Yeah. I mean, it's basically a profit and loss, but can you go back to the business tab? Yep. So even if you don't do the tracker with the profit and loss, this tab actually tells you yeah. what you're actually making per the check, yes. right? Yes. Like, yes. Without before expense, before like yep. top line expenses. So right. before referral or yeah, after referral fees are paid, but before you like pay the photographer. Right. And after your split. After your split. Yeah. Yep. So that's pretty good. So like, look at that first one. So like the check that you received was 3960 or whatever in this example, but really <laughs> you only got 3168. Right. Sometimes it's not fun to look at that. Huh? I said it's sometimes not fun to look at that. No, <laughs> no, but it's better to base your, like even the next one, it's like, it was almost a thousand dollars. Well, it's $900 less, but like, if you're basing our business on the 2520 on this GCI, you're going to always be off, you know? Right. right. Better to be in reality. Well, and I think it's a good way for me too, to track how much I'm losing in referral business you know, versus clients I gain on my own, you know, that I can, I can track that and see how much I'm paying out for these leads. Cause essentially I'm not just paying 25% for this lead. I'm paying 45%. Because you also have my split. 
because right. my split. So, you know, you, if you think about what commission I'm making, it's significantly less with the ones that are referral based. Well, to me though, that makes me say, okay, I'm glad I got that lead, but now I need to turn it into two more deals. Right. So really focus on making that person like part of your sphere or not accepting referrals where, you know, you're never going to talk to them again and they are not going to be in your sphere. I don't know. I, I accept every referral that comes my way. <laughs> Money's money, you know? <laughs> so I just hope it leads to something down the road, you know, and so far they refer me again. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. But even so, if you're not, I mean, you're more purposeful right. about it, but like for me, I'm not as good at being purposeful. So for me, it's like a reminder, like, okay, well you worked this hard for this lead now freaking yeah. go and like <laughs> make more money off of it. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, you didn't just, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. That's well, I know it helps, like, if I, this would help, you know, how some of those leads do cost a lot more. Mm -hmm. And then if you say, okay, like to make it worth your time and you can start to see what that percentage is going out, like maybe increase the price point as to what you will accept a referral from a certain lead source mm -hmm. so that it's. Ends up being yeah, if they're hungry. charging like Op City or whatever, I mean, what do they charge? Out of mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you're talking about that. So they <laughs> charge like 30%, right? Or whatever? Yeah, I think it just depends. Like each broker, I think, can contract like a deal with them. Oh, okay. But typically now if they're a, um, what is it? Like a platinum type lead, it's almost, I think it's supposed to be 38%. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And if yeah. it's a regular one, it's like now 35% before your split. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, to Sam's point, then it really starts you being like, okay, do I need to focus more on generating my own leads? Right. Prospecting. Mm -hmm. See, I wish, okay. And maybe you girls have a way to target this. I, you know, like I'd run a lot of ads. Like if I have a listing, I run ads and stuff on social media. Okay. Um, I wish there was a way that I could incorporate like what I spent on this specific property. We can, you so can think add a column. One. There wasn't one here. No, because that would just be for the month, not for the actual property. Yeah. I actually have a spreadsheet that I'm supposed, I'm supposed to be like tracking all of the ads that I wow. do and then the cost and then the leads that come in with it. But this is another way, like, I'd be happy to share that. I'll trade you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, because then it helps, you know, how to like, I think, I mean, I'm getting a little bit off topic here, but it'll help figure out where you need to spend your advertising dollars, where you're getting the most leads, but then in turn, how much did it cost per each, like on this one? Yeah. yeah. But this one, we can add a column. We just have to make sure not to like mess up the formulas. But I think if we add it at the end, then it shouldn't mess up the formulas. And then you just add another, like add two. So one is like the cost and then the other is the actual net. Right. Yep. Yeah. But this is a good basic, like. Yeah, it is. You've never right. done a PL, and l You've never tracked anything. Like this is really good, like to get started. And then after this, it's like, okay, now what do we need to do? You know, like what's a better way for us or whatever. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, I thanks. like how it's all like you put in one thing and then it automatically goes. You don't have to think about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. Hey, thanks a lot for sharing, Sam. It's good sure. that we share what we learn, especially if we can't make it to class. Like yeah, the students that me and Aubrey are. <laughs> well, Terry was definitely worth it. I mean, I, you know, I go to a lot of classes where I don't take away a lot of stuff. Yeah. This one, he definitely held my attention. I was like, oh, this is great. Oh, that's yeah. good. I'm yeah. sure he's teaching again. I'll look it up and see when he's teaching again. If anybody yeah. wants like a pass, we can give them a gas pass. They don't have to be at EXP. So they can still go for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you, ladies. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. Thanks, Sam. No.